Running against Shirley Weber in the race for Secretary of State is Rob Bernoski. He is joining us live tonight on Zoom with more on this race. Rob, thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, it's my pleasure to be here, Hunter. Thank you. Well, we spoke with Shirley Weber. I got to in our um, four o'clock hour, and there were a lot of topics that I brought to her attention, some that I know you have spoken to us about before, and, and I wanted to get your uh, feedback. She wasn't specifically aware of the duplicate registration concerns uh, that you talked about. I'm curious if you can give us more information on that and maybe um, respond to, to her response to us. Well, I, I, again, this is exactly what my criticism is of her and why I'm running for this office. On her website, she uh, or her staff explains that they have no ability uh, from her office to control duplicate uh, registrations. And uh, had I known I had the question, I would have printed it out to, to forward to you for this, uh, this interview. But, um, and it's also, you know, directly related to you know, again, she controls Cal Access, which is how we know what um, contributions and expenditures are being made for every single race in the state of California. And uh, she she uh, has not updated it in the past two days. Why is there no transparency, which uh, the Secretary of State is is uh, should be tasked with and should serve honorably to make sure it is. But why hasn't that information been updated? I can surmise it's because Republicans such as myself are gonna do really well um, th this election cycle. So maybe they're getting a little bit worried. I don't know, but um, uh, you know, again, you know, I, I didn't write what was on her website, she did. Rob, when you talk about um, Republicans maybe gaining some of those voters who are uh, wanting change, wanting to see something different uh, in these elections and the outcomes of them, talk about your your past, your background, and, and why you felt it was time uh, to throw your name in the hat for this specific position. Uh, thank you very much for the question. So first of all, I'm a chief financial officer by career and education, and I typically get uh, involved in distressed situations where the companies are good, the people are good, but for some reason they have problems and those problems need to be worked out so that more people will invest and lend to the company, so on and so forth, for, for growth and, and other reasons. So um, part of that has, has to do with very working with very large databases to make sure the information is robust enough to run a company on. In fact, that's where I got my career started in Southern California, working for a very large financial institution and they had problems in their data. and. Um, it was just, you know, by circumstance, they tasked me with cleaning it up. And I've sort of been doing that, you know, my entire career. And that's what makes me qualified to run for secretary of state and hold the office, because the office really is a large database management uh, entity uh, with motor voter registration and and everything else that's going on. I'm also um, I've been elected as a school board member to two different school districts. And I'm very proud of that record because. Uh, you know, the first school district was in, you know, year five program improvement. The state was about to take it over. And, uh, you know, I using, you know, what I had, you know, up here and and uh, my passion to, to make the schools good for all the children that were attending. We turned that school district around. Then I um, ran for another school district and it had significant issues, too. Most of all, it had missing millions of dollars that weren't being remitted to it by, you know, the authorities that it was supposed to. Mm. It had some teachers that were behaving badly and nobody did anything about for over 10 years. And, you know, I and my fellow board members, Democrats, we, we, we took my passion and my and my drive to make things better. We made it better. Mm. I also was involved with the Pacheco Pass Water District our next large water storage um, project in the state of California. Working across the aisle, certainly something that is going to be important, especially in the state of California. Rob, I'm gonna ask you one last question. I asked the same thing of Dr. Weber. What is one final thing you want voters to know if you could talk to constituents one-on-one -on -one before they head to the polls? What do you want them to know about you? I care deeply about the state of California and the families that are in it. And the Secretary of State's office plays a very important role to make sure that we have the right people in office to fix our problems. Look, if, you, if you're happy with crime where it is, if you're happy with paying double what the electricity prices are, if you're happy with the schools, you just had Carl DeMaio on pointing out how poorly California schools are doing. If you're happy paying the extraordinary food and fuel prices, 
you know, don't don't vote for me. Vote, vote, vote for the other person. But if you want to start changing that through getting um, higher quality people to run for office and getting more people participating in the voting pro process, you vote for Rob Bernoski. Rob, we appreciate you taking the time tonight. And of course, this is a race we're going to be following closely next week as those results start to come out. Thanks so much. All right. All right. Thank you.